We should learn more today about that deadly shooting that went down in a quiet northeast Albuquerque neighborhood. The police are not saying a whole lot right now, but we know one man is dead and neighbors there are wondering exactly what happened to him. News 13's David Romero is live in a newsplex. So David, what else do we know about this so far? Well, Matt, there's not a whole lot that we know right now other than police are still trying to figure out what happened out there. Now, here's what we do know. The quiet neighborhood near Eubank and Constitution was shaken up after gunshots rang out. Albuquerque police spent much of the afternoon canvassing the neighborhood, talking to neighbors and potential witnesses. Little information has been released, but police say, or rather, we have learned from police that the victim was shot multiple times. Neighbors we spoke with told us they heard as many as five gunshots. While at the scene, neighbors told our crew they didn't recognize a green Chevy pickup parked in the front of the home where the shooting happened. Investigators took pictures of the truck for evidence. One man told us he learned from police this could be linked to some sort of domestic dispute. The ex-boyfriend or husband or whatever was missing in the backyard and she went out and shot him. That's, that's the story that I got earlier this afternoon and that's what the lady told me. As of last night, one person had been detained, but no arrest had been made. Matt, back to you. All right, thank you for the details, David. We're set to learn more from police about the shooting later today, and once we get that, we'll pass it on to you both on air and online. Well, we have new information now in the case of a one-year-old girl killed in a hit-and-run crash three nights ago. Police say the man who did it told them he thought he hit a dog. Mylon Dar was in court yesterday. Investigators say he killed Ivana Valenciano Friday night in the street outside of her home after she wandered away from her family. A neighbor who saw that crash says after it happened, Dar stopped his truck. He looked back, then drove off, but not before leaving behind something very important. There was some type of medical paperwork that fell out of the vehicle, which investigators did find. It led them to the register on the vehicle, and they were able to find the driver and the passenger as a result of that. Dar is now charged with leaving the scene of a deadly crash and tampering with evidence. He's in jail on a $100,000 bond. The man charged in a gruesome double murder is expected to be in court today. Brian Pulliam is accused of shooting his ex-girlfriend Kirsten Landau and her nephew Dylan Searfoss last month. Police say the suspect and Landau had been dating on and off for months. He's also charged with stalking her. Pulliam is scheduled to be in court today. He faces life in prison if he's convicted. He remains in jail on a $1 million cash-only bond. Police are investigating a shooting during Saturday's Lobo Aggie football game. New Mexico State Police say a woman was hit in the leg by a stray bullet. The fan apparently told cops that at first she thought it was a big bug bite, but then realized she had been shot. Police say it appears the bullet came from outside of the stadium and that someone probably shot a gun into the air. The woman was airlifted to the hospital. Police say she is doing okay. Firefighters are still trying to find out more about a fire that ripped through a house in Albuquerque this weekend and killed an elderly woman there. A neighbor called 911 just before 8 Saturday morning saying this house near Academy of Eubank was full of flames. When firefighters got there, they found the woman in a bedroom in the back. She was in her mid to late 80s. They say she was a smoker and may have been using oxygen. And across town, firefighters want to know why two fires have hit this same home in just less than a week. Now, this is what's left of the home on Pinot Noir at uh, near 98th Street Southwest after it caught fire on Saturday night. Now, if you remember, last week we were first on the scene as firefighters worked to get the flames out the first time the house caught fire. They have not said if the fires are connected or how they started. A jail guard is fired and now faces criminal charges after investigators say he tried smuggling drugs into the Metro Detention Center. 23-year-old Rob Padilla appeared in court this weekend alongside his attorney. He was arrested Thursday. Cops say he tried to bring in drugs into the detention center where he worked by hiding them inside his boxers. Now, county officials say Padilla's arrest is a result of MDC and the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Department working together to get rid of all bad jail employees. When we receive intel, whether it's us or the Sheriff's Department, what we're doing with each other now is we're bringing us both into the picture simultaneously. We're not coming in at the back end or the middle end. The Sheriff's Department's not coming in at the back end. We're starting out together. That's a big change. Padilla is already out of jail on bond.